The key to a good semester is getting some idea of the big picture. In other words, how the whole semester is going to look. Um, and the basic way of doing that is with some kind of calendar. Uh, obviously, you can use a calendar on your computer or you can get a planner. Um, I like these. We have these on, on the website. Um, and it's just the whole semester on a single page. Um, you might not be able to see this that clearly, but it goes basically from August, September, October, November, December. That's, that's the fall. Um, and we've got fall break in here and Thanksgiving break. Um, and so you can pretty much see as I said, the, the whole semester at a glance. And um, a good thing to do right at the beginning of the semester is just to get all of your syllabi for all your different classes and take a look at the big items, which basically means exams and projects and papers and um, things like that. Uh, maybe at first you want to hold off on smaller assignments, smaller papers, problem sets, homework, etc. Um, just so that you can get the big things in there. And, and usually what you'll find is that there are certain places in the semester when things kind of bunch up. Okay, so for example, let's say, I'll put an X here for exams, let's say fourth or fifth week of the semester you start seeing a couple of different exams or um, a big paper will show up somewhere. Um, and again, maybe after fall break, you'll have another round of exams, papers, or whatever. Of course, you've got finals down here and right at the end of classes, any kind of final projects or final papers, um, those things are going to come right at the end. So you're going to have a lot happening right at the end of the semester too. So um, it doesn't happen like this for, for everybody, but for most people, there's kind of a topography of the semester when you have these different times when a lot of things happen at once. You could call these crunch times. And for a lot of students, dealing with these crunch times um, uh, is actually the key to having a good semester. So the first thing you want to do to make sure you do have a good smooth semester is, is know when they are. It won't necessarily tell you exactly how to deal with them, but um, it can really make a big difference just in giving you a heads up as to, okay, these weeks I got to watch out right after I get back from break. I got to watch out, um, et cetera. And, uh, it just takes a few minutes right at the beginning of the semester. Um, and it can really kind of get you set up and organized, um, for, uh, for the next few months.